Electronic devices produce heat. That includes the device you're using to watch Ow. this video. Heat dissipation is crucial to the performance of smartphones and cloud servers. In smartphones, power-hungry applications like video processing or gaming raise the device's heat. If it becomes too hot, the CPU will slow down, and this reduces performance. It can be solved by adding heat sinks, but this makes phones bulkier and heavier. Heat can also be a problem in data servers. If chips get too hot, their performance, like in mobile phones, deteriorates. This is usually solved with cooling fans, but it raises the data center's energy consumption. Enter graphene. Its thermal conductivity is the highest of any known material, but it can't be used on its own. One major reason for this is that it's too thin. If you layer it, then it returns to being just plain old graphite. But if it's combined with another material, graphene tends to lose its heat dissipation property. Huawei worked with partners and solved this by stacking multiple layers of graphene flakes turbostratically, a scientific word for unevenly, so that the flakes didn't bond back into graphite. Scientists then chemically joined these layers. This created a film that has a thermal conductivity 50% better than graphite and four times better than copper. Graphene flakes are about one nanometer thick. Graphene film, which is made of graphene flakes, is 100,000 times thicker. While graphene flakes are 0.1 millimeter wide at most, Huawei's film can be made into rolls hundreds of meters long. Inside a smartphone circuit board, this film is placed between the chips and the metal frame. Huawei manages the electrical conductivity of graphene, which can cause shorts, by adding a PET film for isolation. The result is hot phones that run cool. And the graphene film is also used to make heat dissipation pads that are placed between the power chips and heat sinks. This makes cloud data centers more energy efficient. Graphene in a usable form is just one of the many innovations from Huawei's R&D labs.